everyone, voiceover Claire here. Um, I hope you're all doing really well and I hope that you're managing to stay healthy and happy during these not so fun times. I thought I would um, have a bit of a chatty paint with me session today to give you a bit of a life update from my side. But before we start, I want to let you know that the painting you're seeing on your screen, the one that I'm working on, will be for sale along with a few more little originals and some prints starting August 22nd. 50% uh, of the proceeds will be going to relief efforts in Lebanon. I haven't decided yet on the exact organization that I will be donating to because I need to do a bit more thorough research but I will be announcing that later on. I also added some links in the description in case you're interested in learning more about what's happening in Lebanon and about other ways that you can help out. So that being said, life updates. Uh, a lot, a lot's happened since I came back from my art break a few months ago. Um, I just came back in April after taking a year off and I feel like I never gave you a proper explanation as to why I left and why I came back. But as some of you may have noticed, I was gone for just over a year um, and didn't do any, any art between I think March 2019 and April 2020. I was just so focused on my job and I was feeling really low um, during that time. My, my mental and physical health were just taking a bit of a beating from working way too much. Like I'm talking 60 hours a week at a job that I loved, but for a company that kind of just treated me like crap. So um, it got really bad and I ended up going on sick leave at the end of 2019, so at the end of last year, because I just couldn't function normally anymore. I was crying almost every day. I was having panic attacks regularly. I, I was even afraid of going outside of my apartment most of the time. I didn't really choose to go on sick leave um, because I had this really unhealthy mindset of push through it, it's gonna be okay, you can do it. But my body literally just stopped working. So I took a break and I'm so glad I did. Um, yeah, I'm really glad I did. But then when the pandemic hit, I needed something to kind of keep me sane, I guess. So I started trying again. I, yeah, I decided to pick up a pen and pick up a sketchbook and started to draw again. And it was just so helpful. I, I'm so grateful that I had this outlet to help me through this time. Yeah, I eventually started feeling better and I was ready to try and go back to work for just a few hours a week, uh, especially because I knew my residence permit was attached to this job. And if I lose my residence permit, I lose my right to live in the Netherlands. Um, but I realized really quickly that my job was my biggest source of stress. All of my anxiety came back within weeks, if not days of going back to work. Um, but I still gave it my all. I, I tried my best to do, to do as much work as I could. And I ended up getting laid off within a few weeks of starting to work again. I don't wanna get too much into this, but I was really angry for a bit and now I'm not. I'm just relieved now. I'm, I'm happy to be out of there. So now it's been six weeks since I last worked and I have to say I feel, I feel a million times better. I still feel the effects of the burnout um, every day, but 
my mind feels lighter and I feel like the biggest weight was lifted off my shoulders. I feel like I can breathe again. I feel like I'm finally living a life without this constant fear of being told I'm not working enough or being told that I'm being laid off. Just, I'm just living without these fears now. And the great thing is that the creative side of me is also coming back. I'm feeling really optimistic about my artwork and my business. Um, I guess the silver lining is that I also hoarded a lot of money just in case something happened. So now I'm really financially and mentally ready to take everything on and to move forward and just be my best self again. So now I am working on getting a new work and residence permit. Um, oh, I I should say that I'm I'm Canadian, but I'm living in the Netherlands, so I do need special permits to um, live and work here. So yeah, I'm working on that. It should be okay. It's just taking a bit longer than expected, um, which is also why you're not seeing me sell anything yet. But. Once I get those ready, I already have a ton of things planned and a ton of things that I'm working on. The first thing that I will be, I guess, launching is going to be my shop. I want to share as much artwork as possible with you guys and that includes um, selling artwork to you in the forms of originals, prints, stickers, art books, whatever it is. I also want to open a Patreon in the future and I want to work more on this YouTube channel and create more tutorials, studio vlog, just all types of fun things. If you have any suggestions, obviously just leave them in the comments section below. Um, but yeah, there's just so much I want to do and I guess for the first time in a long time, I'm really hopeful that I can actually accomplish everything and finally become a successful full-time artist. Yeah, that's where I am now. It's a new fresh start. I'm scared, but I'm excited at the same time. To me, that's one of the best feelings. I am just so thankful to have all of you on this journey with me. I know there's only like a hundred of you here with me on YouTube, but still, I am just very, very grateful that you guys are here. And I also wanted to say thank you so, so, so much um, to everyone who reached out to me during my time off. I'm really sorry I didn't get to reply to most of the messages but I read every single one of them and I'm just so grateful that you cared so much about me. Um, so yeah, thank you very much. But I think I'm gonna end it here now. I'm melting in this heat. Please take care of yourselves and I will talk to you guys later. Bye bye.